the agenda for today. Um, for the first part, Scott will introduce you to our Docuware mobile applications and explain their use cases um, and you know how we see Docuware customers using them. And then he'll jump into a live demo so you can see these applications in action. And then at the end, we'll open up for Q&A. Again, thank you for joining us, and I'll pass it off to Scott. Thank you, Nicole. Uh, as Nicole mentioned, I'm a regional sales director uh, for DocuWare, which means I uh, spend a lot of time on the road. Uh, I am in sales, so I, you know, I'm doing a lot of closing presentations and sales presentations uh, with our partners. Uh, so uh, Nicole wanted me to include a couple photos of me actually utilizing uh, DocuWare Mobile and the PaperScan app on the road. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about today is the uh, PaperScan app. Um, the app is uh, a free to uh, anyone. You can go to the Apple Play Store or the Google Play Store and uh, download it uh, and use it. To, uh, use your camera to capture documents on the go. Um, you can use it to upload documents to things like Dropbox or email or, or text. Uh, of course, you can use it to capture uh, documents to store into DocuWare. So uh, you'll see more of this in the demo, but you know, the left-hand side there, you can see that as you take your photos, all of your documents are there. Uh, DocuWare, when you take the pictures, will recognize the documents automatically and crop them out uh, so that you're just getting the document and not the background. And if you do need to do any editing, you can uh, use your finger thumb to navigate around to uh, select the edge of the documents. You can even utilize it to capture multiple pages and assign them together. And then as I've talked about, you can share that. The other part of DocuWare Mobile or using DocuWare on the road is our DocuWare Mobile app. Uh, this too is downloaded from the Apple uh, Store or the uh, Google Play Store. Uh, the app itself is no cost. Uh, you can utilize it as a DocuWare Cloud customer. It's included with DocuWare Cloud. If you are utilizing DocuWare with a on-premise uh, solution or on-premises solution, uh, you will need to uh, purchase the Connect to Mobile uh, module for the cloud. But the DocuWare mobile app, it allows you to uh, not only just find your documents, go in and do a search very similar to the uh, web client that you'll see. Uh, it allows you to view all of them uh, as index cards. Uh, and then, you know, really the importance of the mobile is it allows you to take action on the documents through a, a workflow and, you know, approve or reject or, you know, whatever the workflow might need to move those documents uh, through the organization. And just as with the paper scan app, once the documents are in DocuWare, you can still share them. You can email them out, text them out, print them if you've got a uh, cap capable printer. Uh, and and uh, send them out any a number of different ways. You can also store the documents right from DocuWare, and you will see that in the demo along with the uh, utilization of our intelligent indexing to do some automated uh, indexing of the documents right on your phone. The last part that we're going to talk about today is DocuWare Forms. And DocuWare Forms, again, is included with DocuWare Cloud or a module with the on-prem version. And DocuWare Forms allows you to, you know, create forms with a intuitive editor that doesn't require any programming skill. You can make those forms look like your company documents by putting your logo or company colors on there. And these forms can be either used internally by uh, users with their username and password, but where I've seen a lot of benefit in my experience with uh, customers and prospects has been using public forms. You can actually publish this form maybe as a link on your website where a external entity can go to the website, click the link, fill out the form, maybe even attach some documents and upload it up right into DocuWare and of course a workflow can be uh, started with that. So this is both available on a, on a desktop, uh, any web browser that supports uh, standard web pages, but it also is available on your mobile devices. So how are companies using mobile to benefit their business? You know, one area we see is invoices or accounts payable. 
Um, like myself, I'm based in the Chicago metro area. DocuWare is headquartered in the uh, New Windsor, New York uh, location. So uh, there's a lot of sharing of information from my six states back to New York. Uh, sometimes, you know, as documents come in that need my review or my approval, or your companies might have individuals that might, might need to approve invoices either remotely or at another site, they can actually get those invoices via the app and or an email notification and open it on their device and they can take action right from the field. So now instead of having to go back to the office to take action or slow down the process, they can be more productive and help the company by taking action where they're at. So at this point, they're focusing on their job sites, on their deliverables and their deadlines. Another area is with your sales teams. Anyone out there um, actually, you know, taking on new business, or it could even be service orders. You know, you might have repair technicians going out and filling out a document and getting the customer to sign off. Well, they can either do this with a digital order form, or if it's still a traditional paper document, they can fill it out, have the customer sign it, and then utilizing the mobile device take a picture of the document and submit it right back to the headquarters. Really where the benefit to the company is for a sales role, your salespeople do not have to stop what they're doing after getting an order just to go back to the home office to submit that order. They can actually submit it immediately and then go on to the next sales call, thus seeing more customers in a day. Uh, from the service order side, a uh, very similar type scenario where they can get those service orders back and the office can then go ahead and close out the ticket, do the invoicing as they need to. So now we're talking about quicker time to revenue. We can get those invoices and that billing out. You know, sometimes it's just a day. Sometimes with some salespeople, it can be two or three days quicker because they may not come to the office on a daily, uh, daily uh, process. Or, you know, with the other scenario, again, if, you're, if your salespeople don't have to go back every, after every sales call, they can now see, you know, one, two, three extra customers per day. More customer visits means more revenue. Now, the, just as with the service orders, we have, you know, bill of ladings. Again, a delivery person delivers product or a service to a customer uh, again, you can have them sign with their finger on a, on a mobile device, or <clears throat> they can take a picture of that paper document and, again, send it right back to the home office so that they can now uh, take their action and, again, close out that order so that now accounting doesn't have to wait until the end of the day when all of those documents come back. Uh, they can simply be viewed uh, by the uh, office and can at that point, uh, you know, close out the orders. And then once everything's in, it's all stored together. So if there is a customer service question down the road, they can obviously pull open the document by the PO, by the sales order number, by the customer name, and everything is there, including the signed off document as well as all of the other documents related to it. The last area we're going to talk about today is expense reports. Uh, you know, expense reports can be used, uh, you know, to capture their invoices. Again, I'm on the road anywhere from one to four days a week, you know, between my hotels, my rental cars, and my, my meals. I get a lot of paper, and historically, that paper would just be jammed in my pocket or into my uh, laptop bag, and then at that point, I would have to, you know, hopefully not lose it between the time that I travel and get back to the office uh, or, you know, it might get all crumpled or damaged or un unlegible. So what this can do is it can allow your salespeople, you know, and just as I typically do, right at the end of the dinner, I'll, I'll fill out the, uh, the tip. And then, you know, right there before I even leave, I'll take a picture utilizing my phone to capture that and store it into the DocuWare tray. So at the end of the week, I can put all of my expense receipts back together as one document and attach them to my Excel and submit it. So again, they're getting the task done quicker, uh, and at that point, it can also help them get their expense reports in on a, on a more timely basis instead of sending accounting a month's worth of expenses at one time. 
the last area that we're going to talk about as far as the use case is photos. And this is going to come into play a lot with even uh, like our DocuWare forms. We have home healthcare agencies using DocuWare in this manner uh, or fleet drivers where there may be an incident with the individual they're giving care to, whether it be a slip and fall in home health care, whether it be a fender bender uh, with a fleet driver. Well, sometimes we need to capture that information right away. And of course, we want to do that while that is fresh in our head and we know all the we know all the details right there. So utilizing a DocuWare form on their mobile device, they can fill out the form, utilize the camera on the device, attach photos of an injury of a, uh, a fender bender and submit that right away so that now whoever has the responsibility for that back at the home office they can actually start that process by contacting insurance by contacting uh, medical any number of different reasons they might need to uh, use that information so with that, I am going to uh, show you DocuWare, both the web client as well as the mobile. For anyone that may not be familiar with DocuWare, I wanted to start with the, the browser-based uh, application, just to show you a kind of lay of the land, let you know what we're looking at, and then we'll switch over to mobile. Uh, the browser-based uh, Viewer is available both with the cloud and the on-prem versions. It's identical regardless of whether you're using on-prem or cloud. The first area we have here are trays, and this is a temporary holding location where documents that we've not stored yet or that might need to assemble before storing can be placed uh, there and then at that point stored into DocuWare. Now, when I store documents in DocuWare, I store them in virtual filing cabinets. Now, this is just what I have for my fictitious company as to what's important to them is to find documents. Uh, each of you with your different business types out there, you might have different index values, and that's where the DocuWear engineer that sets up the system for you would work with you to identify these index values or metadata or tags on the uh, left side. But just to show you how easy it is to use, if I want to find all my documents related to U.S. Steel, I just start typing, and it uh, gives me a predefined uh, selection. And at that point, I can just click on it and open it up in my viewer on the left-hand side. Now, we view over 200 different file formats. And what's really unique about that is not only do we view those file formats in our browser-based application, we can also view them on the phone. And of course, I can click through and look at those documents. Uh, if I wanted to, I can limit my search to specific uh, documents only. If I don't want to see everything, I can limit my search and narrow my searches down. So that in that case, I just get one document that I want to see. Uh, the other thing that we can do is we can do full text search. So any of this information that we see on this document, uh, as long as it's machine printed text, I can actually search within the document, again, on the mobile device or on the PC. The next area I have here are lists. Think of lists as a safe search. This is, uh, you know, maybe my open POs or contracts that have been lying dormant for a period of time, but I need to wake them up uh, 30, 45, 60 days before they expire. And now I have a, a single place to go look at them. And then lastly, tasks. Tasks is actually the workflow. This is saying, hey, you have something to do. And right now you'll see I actually have a purchase order in my tasks uh, that I need to either approve or decline. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that there for now. So that's the uh, web-based uh, client. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go ahead and connect my phone to my PC and because my PC fell asleep, uh, or my phone fell asleep, I need to reconnect. And now you can see, this is actually my iPhone uh, that you're seeing replicated on the screen. And I'm gonna leave DocuWare open in the background, so just so you can see some of this happening live as it happens on my phone. So this is my DocuWare page that I have on my phone with all of my work-related applications. Uh, the first thing I'm going to start with is paper scan, and paper scan's in the third row down, uh, right above the Gmail app. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and open up paper scan. 
Paper Scan, again, is that's the, the free app that you can use it without DocuWare, and you can use it to you know capture your documents. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how easy it is to capture the documents. So in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the little plus sign. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit plus, and what that's going to do is that's going to activate my camera, and I've got this receipt on my desk from my travels last week. Now, it, as you saw, it went ahead and captured the document. Uh, I do need to, at this point, uh, you know, uh, work on the whoops, work on the uh, the borders of the document. So again, all I have to do is use my thumb. You can see the nice little crosshairs go through. I can now outline the corners of the document, and at this point. When I'm done, it's actually gotten rid of all the wood grain on my desk, and now I just see the document. I can even go ahead and you know type in what I want to call this document. I might just want to say this is my breakfast. I can give it a name. And now at this point, I don't need to do anything with this document other than put it into my tray. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, arrow down in the uh, bottom right-hand corner, that little square box with the arrow pointing up. As I click on that, you can see, again, this is where I can uh, text it to some frequent contacts. I can airdrop it. I can send it to a mail. But all I want to do is I'm going to choose the DocuWare logo in the very bottom. And at that point, it's going to export out of my phone. And now you can see in the background where I've left my web client open, it's actually storing, putting that right in my tray. Now, that little gray bar you see, that's the intelligent indexing. It's looking to see if it recognizes this document. Um, it does not because I got a red flag. But we'll work on that a little bit more as I go to switch over to the actual uh, DocuWare app. But before I do that, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to go out on a sales call this morning and, and uh, went to see our, our good customer over at Acme Widgets. And I got a purchase order from them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place this PO on my desk. And now I take the picture. And now you can see I've got my purchase order from Acme Widgets. And I can use my uh, fingers to zoom in. They bought DocuWare Mobile. And of course, paper scan is free. And no, those are not the real prices. I just put some numbers in there for the purpose of today's demo. But at this point, I can even go ahead and again, rename this if I want to. I will rename it under Acme. And it, just as I had done before, I'm gonna use that box with the arrow in the lower left right-hand corner. And I'm going to, instead, I'm gonna choose my DocuWare logo that's there in the middle next to AirDrop Messengers and Mail. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put that right into my tray. And at this point, that document is getting uploaded into the tray. And as you're going to see, it's going to do that same intelligent indexing on there. Now, I've not done business with Acme Widgets before. I have not captured their purchase order with DocuWare previously. So I'm going to store that on my phone. So all I have to do is because that's at the top, I just choose Acme. And again, it's going to uh, bring it open so I can view it. And I'm using this live with the DocuWare Cloud account. Now that I have that, I can simply uh, click the three buttons, uh, the ellipsis up in the upper left-hand corner. And now I have some decisions to make. I can just place stamps on it, I can store it, or I can share it. But at this point, I wanna store it in my cabinet so that I can get it back to the home office in New York very quickly. So I just simply choose the proper dialog, in this case, store. Now you'll see because I ran intelligent indexing on this document, it was able to pull that it's a purchase order. Uh, now in this case, it thinks it's a purchase order from DocuWare Corporation. So I'm gonna train it and say Acme, uh, Acme Widgets, I think is what I called it. And at this point, it did pull in the, the PO number, it pulled in the date, the dollar value, and all the other information. So then now all I have to do is hit store. And on my phone, it's gone. And you also see live in the web client as a, to show you the immediacy of this, that document has left my tray. It's been stored in DocuWare. And look at that, I just got a Gmail notification I've actually sent out an email to myself in this case, 
but again, it can go to somebody else within the organization that says, you have a new task, you have something to do, you need to approve that document. And as I go back to the full DocuWare mobile client, you'll see up in the top, it even says tasks. And I can click on that to open and close the tasks. And then the step that I've called, this is just called document review. This might be invoice approval. It might be send a billing. You know, I just called it document review. I can click on that. And you're going to see that US Steel order that I had uh, shown you earlier in the web client. But then now here's that Acme widgets PO that I have. Now at this point, I need, to, I need to approve this. I need to say, yes, this price is good or these terms are good. And now I can go through and I have, as I click on those three buttons up there again, uh, in the upper right-hand corner, I now bring up and I now have decisions that I can make. And in this case, my decisions are fairly simple, approve or decline. Uh, of course, I'm going to approve my own order, so I'm going to go ahead and say approve. But before I actually save that, you'll also notice there on the screen, it actually placed that stamp with my name as I'm logged in, the date. I can put the time there if I want, the step name, approve or reject, as well as the decision approved on that. Of course, if you want to allow your users to add notes or text to that, you can do that as well. But now that I'm done, I'm going to click on confirm in the upper right hand corner and that document is going to leave my to do list and I can go on with what I would do uh, with my day. In this case, I can go to my next sales call. I'll go ahead just to close it out. I'm going to go ahead and approve US Steel or actually I'll go ahead and decline this one. And there you can see in this case, it brought open the red stamp as I everything I decline I put down as red that's just user preference but in this case I can see it was declined and I can hit confirm and at that point it's going to uh, close out and now you'll notice on the phone app there are no more uh, tasks for me in just a few minutes the browser will also have that task drop out now the next area that I'm going to talk about is the forms now in the bottom row there next to the uh, gmail app you see there the docuware incident logo i've actually saved a web page on my tray so at this point i can bring open a form on my phone so if there is an incident that i need to uh need to report while i'm away from the office i can do that and I can utilize the standard mobile tools. I can use the calendar. So today is the date of that incident is today. Uh, we'll say this happened just a few minutes ago at 1.20 uh, p.m. Uh, the nice thing is with the forums, you can actually uh, go ahead and put in your own lists so that your users can only pull in the information that you want. I'm gonna say this happened at my home office uh, describe the incident, even though it was in my home office, I'm going to go ahead and call this one a, a you know, a fender bender, you know, I could go ahead and, and type in some additional information as I needed to. And then, you know, again, I can go through and I can say who was involved. Well, the employee was involved. And now notice on this, I just have, you know, the five sol selections, client, employee, visitor, contractor, and other. Well, if I decide to choose other, you'll notice it then is a smart form and brings open another window where I could go ahead and put some text in there if it was, you know, the UPS driver, the Amazon delivery guy, FedEx, whatever. But I'm going to go ahead and uncheck other. And then again, I'm going to go ahead and say this is a fender bender. And again, utilizing your finger, you can go ahead and sign that document or a stylus if you have a mobile device that uses a stylus. And then the other thing I'm going to point out here is, again, Maybe I need to attach a different document to this, whether it be, uh, you know, the insurance claim card of the other party, or in this case, I can utilize my phone. And so I'm going to go ahead and I've already taken a, a picture of the fender bender and I can now actually upload that and I can put in any other information. But at this point, I'm done. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit submit. And now at this point, that document has been submitted into doc showing you both we've shown you paper scan how it can be used uh, as a free app to be able to capture receipts documents purchase orders uh, how we can utilize intelligent indexing 
to be able to uh, capture all the information off the document automatically, uh, and then you know search and view the documents right on the device. Uh, we showed you DocuWear Mobile to store that document, but then also view it in a workflow, add your decision with a stamp, um, get notified with notifications, uh, and be able to be able to look for the different information. And then lastly, we've got the forms. We showed you the web form on the phone. Uh, where we completed it, attached some different documents, we viewed that document as well as the photo, and then that also went through to a workflow. So uh, as I've mentioned, uh, all of this is included in DocuWare Cloud and, and some of the features are, are modules with a non-prem implementation. Um, you know, the benefit of DocuWare Cloud, and we're seeing a high number of our users this year uh, start with cloud. Um, obviously, the year's not over yet, but final numbers will probably exceed 70% of our new customers will be cloud-based DocuWare users. And part of that is because the complete feature set is included in cloud. You don't have to worry about modules and what's there and what's not. DocuWare is built on the Microsoft Azure backbone, which gives us that high usability, uh, that disaster management, that data backup that you know users uh, want when they go with a cloud-based application. Uh, your data is secure, uh, so if anything you know should happen to a, a Microsoft data center, we don't foresee that to happen, but it's out of our control. Uh, so should anything happen to the data center, it rolls off to the to the secondary data centers and the backup data centers. Uh, and then again, you don't have to worry about doing your regular backups. Uh, on the uh, at your location because all that information is being backed up in our cloud environment. Uh, as Nicole mentioned at the beginning, there is a case study available for uh, in the handout section. Uh, you can you know read some of the comments from uh, Mr. Powell, who was with that uh, the fence company. Basically, think of them as a construction company. They're out there. Uh, they have uh, superintendents and employees. Uh, erecting fences uh, out uh, for their clients. And what DocuWare allows them to do is to be, you know, where they're more valuable and that's in the field and not in the office. So that time can be used to oversee the work and keep the, the projects on time. And the old adage, time is money. If they're on time, they're on budget. They're, th they're not falling behind with their projects and their tasks. And then that also gives them full transparency to where the documents are at in case someone is out of the office. Again, you'll be able to read the um, and how it's you know really saved them three and a half hours per week uh, on some of the uh, processes. With that, I will turn it back over to uh, Nicole in New York for the wrap up and questions. All right, thanks, Scott. Thanks for um, that, all that insight and great demo. So we'll open up for Q&A now. I just want to remind everyone again that the webinar um, is recorded, and I'll email it to you tomorrow morning along with a copy of the case study so you have them all together um, to review um, next time uh, with your colleagues or down the road. Um, so again, just want to remind you this, what you saw was introductory. Um, if you want to see, you know, more personalized demo for your business needs, definitely reach out to us. We want to continue this conversation with you guys. Um, you can request a more personalized demo at docuer.com slash info slash request a demo. Email us anytime at contact at us at docuer.com. Or if you're already working with an authorized Docker partner, uh, reach out to them so they can help you get started.